Okay, here we are. Start a renovation for 2021 in spring. Drop the uh, good old mow master down three mils, and we're taking the first cut around. We'll try and get rid of some of the height. Interesting to see where it does and doesn't scalp with only three mils down. Once we get a bit height out of it, we'll hit it with a verde mower. Okay, here we are after four passes, up, down, left, right, and the two diagonals. Uh, I've got no problem doing that with the cylinder mower because I'm not touching dirt. Um, I've taken 16 catches off so far. If we look down here, just where I'm turning, I'm almost down to dirt, so I'm going to swap over to the rotary now. I'll see you shortly. Okay, here we are, many, many, many passes later. Uh, 60 catches all up. I always give up once the catches just start getting too heavy, showing me that... Um, yeah, it's bringing up too much sand, and that's the law of diminishing returns. You're not getting much more benefit of that. Still needs a um, final cut of the cylinder mower, just to top off those little wispy brown bits, and then we're done. Okay, here's the last runs. As you see, what we're getting out is mostly this brown, fibrous, part decomposed thatch. When you run it between your fingers, there's still a fair bit of sand in it. Doesn't look like it, but God, those catches get heavy, so that's when I call it a day. Okay, and before we go, I just thought I'd show you, this is the same setting as the uh, birdie mower was set on in the front yard on the backyard that wasn't cut down initially with the cylinder mower. And it just sort of fluffs it up and doesn't actually bring anything out. Great if you're grooming, but it shows you why you really need to knock down that height initially first. You can see the difference between the two. It's cut and not cut with the birdie mower. Thanks. Okay, finished birdie mowing. Run over it with the cylinder mower at six mils. Took all that sort of hay growth off the top. Now the fun part starts. Bit of fertiliser and got to start coring. Have a look at this thing go. I've worked it out. I'm averaging about 50 square metres an hour. Have a look at this. What a beast of a machine this Trident Core is. That actually punched out a piece of limestone. It's quite a hard piece of limestone. I can't break it with my fingers. This thing punched it out. Okay, I like to core in one direction, so all the um, cores end up pointing in one, one direction, i.e. parallel. That allows us to do this. Two rows, fit neatly in my little shovel, scoop along, into the bucket, and they're gone. 